Yeah, you know, the Red Set work is an initiative of His Excellency, targeted at us, um, engaging the problem which Copy Nigeria brought to us, saying that, hey, that the graduates we're churning out are not fit for the world of work. So what the Red Set Work Initiative was supposed to do is that whilst they're still in school, for our final year students, prepare them for the world of work. So we have a 13-week program that speaks to entrepreneurship, that speaks to employability, and also speaks to the general mindset of the average graduate in Lagos State. If you guys don't succeed, if you guys don't do well, if you guys don't create the next job, the next great companies that we are all believing you to do, then Nigeria will fail. Well, what we see is it will help reduce the skills gap and make our people, our students, to be employable, especially people that are seeking employment. It will also help to enhance the entrepreneurial spirit and skill of those that want to be entrepreneurs. What we've seen over time, especially recently, as, uh, as far back as 2015, is that we have more than 64% of our population between ages 15 and 59. So that's quite high. And in terms of uh, being gainfully employed, a large proportion of our population is not gainfully employed. So what we, we have is, we have a lot of skills gap that we need to fix. So Eddie Set's work is geared towards fixing those uh, skills gap that we've identified. Okay, so the courses for this project were selected to address specific needs. One is the mindset reorientation. We understand that the typical Nigerian graduate is looking to get employed at a multinational. That's all that is on their mind. Once they get into school, they're looking and just want to get a degree and have a good job. But the reality on ground is that there aren't enough jobs to go around for everybody. So we need them to begin to see how they, by themselves, can also become job creators and solve unemployment issues in the country. So our curriculum was tailored to address the mindset, the mindset shift, as it were, to begin to see the problems that exist in their environment and how they can solve these problems and become solution providers. Also, we, we were taking them through the act of pitching. How can they sell themselves? It's a life skill to be able to sell yourself as an individual, whether you're an entrepreneur or you, you, you work in a corporate organization, you need to be able to sell yourself. Um, the courses selected for this program were selected based on what we believe and what we have found that employers look for the most when recruiting for employees to join their organizations. These include teamwork, leadership, communication, critical thinking, problem solving, and a host of other skills. We have found that many young graduates have the potential to develop these skills, but they haven't really had the platform to do so. And so during this program, we have focused on developing each of these skills in each of our students. You cannot answer interview questions effectively without doing your homework. We believe with the successful completion of our ready set work, our final year students in the tertiary institutions in Lagos are well equipped to face the future and the program has really made them to be more employable. It has also, also honed their skills for entrepreneurship. I think for us, um, um, we, we, we graduate 4,500 plus students in our tertiary institutions in Lagos State. So, Lagos State University, Lagos State Polytechnic, Lagos State College of Health Tech, you know, and that's aside from our College of Education. We, so roughly 4,500, 4,600 students are graduated every year. Our expectation is that we want our graduates, when they leave school, to be one of the first people corporate Nigeria want to employ. That's what our, we're trying to achieve with Ready Set Work. And from the feedback we've gotten from corporate Nigeria during their interviews, and I can say that we've um, generally improve the standard of our, of our graduates in Lagos State. 